That's not true. I just heard a song on the radio that was quite appalling. I don't believe it applies to me. I never... All my sexual encounters were mutual consent between two parties. Between the, the male and the female. Uh, there was mutual consent and there was mutual agreement. No one was forced to do anything. Uh, yeah, I met uh, people and when I was younger and sometimes after a few drinks uh, in my early 20s, we'd shoot breeze a little and we'd go to a party or something and, you know, one thing led to the next, but it was never, uh, nothing was ever forced, nothing was ever aggressive. It was, they were willing participants on both sides. So unlike uh, certain people that are being accused of stuff right now, we won't mention any names, but they're, they're major players politically, and they're having to go, go through some pretty embarrassing court battles and, and legal procedures. Their, their history and their past is being brought up and, and carefully scrutinized and gone over with a fine-tooth comb. To find any flaws in uh, personal characters, because you know they don't want uh, they don't want stuff to come out after they if they win the election, stuff that that could uh, really tarnish the the honorability of the of the position that's being offered, which is the Oval Office, the White House. I mean that's a that's a that's the what the highest office the highest position on in this country. You've got to have an impeccable background, I believe, or at least it or at least it has to be well hidden to where it can't be dug up and brought to the public's attention. Because you don't want uh, people leading the country to, to be embarrassing its citizens or to leave questions uh, and doubts. And those who, who voted for him, for for the person running for office, you don't want to give them any doubts uh, that, of whether they made the right decision or not. Uh, you know, nobody wants to be embarrassed. I'm proud to be the citizens of this country, but our our commander in chief did some very bad things, and people are mocking him around the world. People are saying disgraceful and humiliating things to our to our leader, leader of our free world, and yeah, yeah, we don't want that. We want to be honorable and prestigious and respectable. Yeah, and and the person running for office right now, uh, he to serve a second term because he had a little interim period of four years because someone else uh, won the election. But if he wins it again. He promises to bring respectability back to our country. He promises to bring uh, uh, honorability to to our nation. And uh, he says that it's lacking at the moment. He says that pe people around the world think we're a big pushover. They think that we're, you know, un uh, overrated. And that we're not worth our salt anymore militarily or economically or politically or, uh, so somehow we've got to boost our foreign relations not only our domestic policy but our foreign policy it's, man we, we we have to be good ne better negotiators and better uh, sympathizers and better and uh, for the most part we are but you know we want good leadership who doesn't want good leadership we want rational minds to prevail. We want clear-headed thinkers. We want diplomacy. We want dipl people who are diplomatically minded and who are uh, reasonable in their decisions and, nego and negotiable with others when works well with others, not only within in their own cabinets, their immediate in, uh, sur uh, surroundings, their administrations, but with uh, all the senators, all the congresspeople on both sides, 
liberals and the and the and the and the Republicans, Democrats and the Republicans, they're they're supposed to work together for the betterment of the whole nation. You know, uh, they're supposed to try to find common ground if possible, so that. Uh, but over some, over not over trivial matters, over the more important matters. A lot of what's going on right now, the debates and the and the and the uh, and the uh, kind of the uh, hostilities is over trivial minor issues, and they're not ma they're not majoring on the majors, they're majoring on the minors. I mean, our country's up against up uh, up in a, our country's really in a precarious situation right now and they're squabbling over like things like abortion still after after 20 30 40 50 60 70 years of doing this it's the same old abortion rights uh genderisms uh gay rights all of these things they've been they've been they've been peddling around with these minor issues for for decades and they're majoring on the minors. There's there's bigger there's bigger stuff going on right now. Stuff that's way more significant, way more important. And they're still they're still I don't know what it is, but uh, we got to get more more important stuff done rather than this petty stuff.